Have you ever thought about leaving fossil fuels behind? Aaron Wallen thought about it a lot, especially given his job as a jet fuel driver. The amount of fuel that I deliver, you get to see how much we're taking. Most people, they put a hose in their car and you never see the fuel. In 2019, Aaron got his first electric car, but soon realized it wasn't a perfect solution. It's electricity and electricity is made from fossil fuels. So that was a big issue for me. Today, he powers his home in two electric vehicles using solar energy, thanks to the 33 solar panels installed on his roof last spring. His system also includes two large batteries to store excess energy and charge his cars overnight. They're, they're quite sleek looking. They're sleek too. looking, they are. And at nighttime, they have two little lights you can see lit up and it looks like two eyes on the side of the house. <laughs> Maybe this reveals my ignorance around this, but I thought it was going to be like ductwork and tubes. It was really painless, apart from writing the check. His large system cost $60,000. The upfront cost is difficult. Yes, it is, but it will. Yeah, it's pain itself and more. Aaron uses an app to help track how much energy his panels are bringing in. Now he does energy intensive tasks like laundry or running the dishwasher during the day when the sun is out. I think it just really starts to make you think about energy differently when you're producing it yourself. Even with the big price tag, Aaron says the peace of mind has been worth it knowing he's reducing his carbon footprint. Driving up to like the White Mountains in the electric vehicle and you go into this beautiful location, your car is running on energy created from the sun and you're going in there looking at these wonderful views and you leave there and you're leaving nothing behind.